Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. Last time, we dicked around, ignored Spock's advice, and somehow got killed messing with a machine. So this time, let's try to take it a little bit more seriously, I suppose. I guess we could. Alright, let's beam back down and try this again. Okay, here's my plan. Spock seemed to know something about this planet before, so we'll take him. And aside from that, we also had to mess around with some sort of machine, so we should probably take someone who knows something about machines. And who do we know that knows about machines? Well, I would say Scotty, but it doesn't look like we're um, getting that option now, does it? Okay. Well, if we can't take Scotty, I guess we'll just um. Hmm. This random red shirt will do. Okie dokie then. Ensign Ricky, you're with us. Yes, yes, replenish our fuel supplies. And the odds again. Always with the odds. Alright, folks, let's go. Zoom! Let's take a course like we took last time. Just to uh, get around and maybe have Spock offer to mind meld again. Potentially taking him up on the offer this time. Hopefully avoiding some damage. Alrighty. Moving along. Then we start getting attacked by dragons again. There's some now. And... Get hit in the face. Right off the bat. Come on. Can we not hit one of these things? There we go. Eh. Maybe this is way off. Maybe we have to get hit by a few of them before Spock offers to do his thing. Oh! -ho. Took it out right on the way up. Not so much that time. Yeesh. Must be more of a random thing. I honestly don't know. Wow, those guys are really unconscious. <sighs> Take a drink. Okay. That was... not good. That was pretty bad. Let's try this again. Spock, Ensign Ricky, let's... Don't you dare, Spock. Spock, don't say it. Don't say it. Your mom is odd, sir. Yeesh. Down we go. And again. Yoinks and away. Hey, 
I guess Spock's not even gonna try to help this time. Yep. Let's go. Um, let's go this way. away. Ah, a big ugly head. That's not something you want to see. On an alien planet, miles away from, well, not really miles away from anything because standard units of measure mean nothing to us. We can beam, so ha. Ha ha, ha ha. Hey, one of these things, again. Let's take a look. Can we tricord this? Let's tricord this. Would you like me to repair it? Uh, sure. But its power source has been depleted. Okay, so we need a power source out of a more different robot, I guess? Fortunately, we've seen such a thing before. Oh, I know we can find another robot. We'll yank that power source right out of there. But, ah, big ugly head. Let's try going around this way, shall we? Ah, here we are. by the landslide. Would you like me to repair it? No. Instead... And... This might be... Oh, I was gonna try to blast it into dust and take the power source. Well, so much for that. Check it out again. And boom. I still don't know why it's doing that. Take a drink. <sighs> okay. Alright. We're going back down. Okay. Let's try this again. There's bound to be something obvious I'm missing. There's always something obvious I'm missing. Like every blasted time, I miss something obvious. Let's see, we head up. We get heartbreak thing. Explodes. And there's nothing we can do about it. We head down, we find the one that needs to be repaired. But then we need the dilithium. Or a power source. Just a power source, really. This is downright odd. Take that, you big ugly tongue flapping head. And 
getting hit with the dragon. <sighs> Take a drink. And some Ricky here isn't doing any good. Let's get Bones back in our party. We made slightly more progress that time. I still haven't quite gotten the hang of this menu system here. Get your ass over here, McCoy. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Maybe I just flat out leave Spock next time and not have to go through this again. We're having ourselves a merry little time now. Okay, the first time I got the mind meld option offer, I went around and messed around with some dragon thingies coming out of those craters. Tricorder seems to be doing a whole lot of nothing for anyone. Ah, here we go. There's our illusions. They, as you believe in them, do you wish me to mind meld with everyone in order to keep them from believing in them? Yes, Spock. This time, we'll do it your way. that's out of the way. I wonder if there are any other illusions we can dispel thusly. Um, Bones? You coming with? You coming with? No? Alright. Uh, I'll just let you rest there and beat me up later there, buddy. see. So we can beam the injured crew members back. Which means that this would have come in a lot more handy a lot sooner. Okay, what do we got about this thing? No, don't repair it. that landsliding. What the? Hmm. Okay, here's something interesting. When I move away from it, it seems to deactivate. I wonder if that means anything. It could be worth following up on, definitely. And I can't seem to get around the other side of it like this. indeed. Hmm. 
I just don't know what to make of this. Let's just go check that other one real quick. Anything here? No. Uh, What to make of this? Okay, there it is. Uh, do I need to repair it? Yes. Power source has been depleted. Blow it! Blow it up! Well, crud vapors. Alright. Take one more look at that other one and try to do something about it. And if it sends me back to the Enterprise this time, I'm going to have to think of something else. Something drastic. Something desperate. Something involving monkeys. Yep, it done blew up again. Take a drink. Okay. Spock, what do you make of this? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh... I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to another planet to check much of anything out. But what the heck. Let's go gallivanting off somewhere else after all. Ooh, don't want to head into the Romulan Empire. Been there, been there, been there. I suppose I could try some of these planets over here. Not sufficient fuel. Of course. Of course. I have a feeling I'm going to be stuck here for a while. Well, maybe I can think of something else later. Until then, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink. <laughs>